Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, this is Old Car Auto Guy, and today I'm sporting my new Tool Heads Crate t-shirt. I'm really excited about this uh, product that the Tool Heads Crate has put together with these tools and a crate service that uh, if you haven't had a chance to check one out yet, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. Guys, today we are revealing the big modification on Grandma, so stay tuned. So guys, as we get into announcing to you guys what this new modification is for Grandma, I might have been a little bit over exaggeratory on just how big it really was. We're going to do a little time lapse here real quick and then we're going to reveal to you what that is. So there we have it guys, Grandma is now 100% officially a Grandma. Now, like I said before, maybe I did kind of over exaggerate what this big mod was. In fact, I think I used the words probably never been done on a Panther platform ever. Well, I did challenge you guys to see if that was the case and I haven't seen one yet. So you tell me, have you ever seen a Panther platform with plate, license plate grandma before? Anyways, I do think it's a first. So anyways, not to overshadow the fact that that was kind of the big reveal. However, uh, I do have some good news about Grandma. Two things. One is that we still have a Last Fit sponsorship that's coming up on Project Grandma, where we're going to be adding some more LED lights with thanks to Last Fit Auto Lighting. Guys, you can get your very own Last Fit bulbs at lastfit.com. And if you use the promo code Old Car Auto Guy 10, you can get 10% off any already great prices that are there at their website. So I hope you have a chance to go over there and check them out and outfit your very own car with some LED bulbs. On Grandma, we are going to be doing front and rear turn signals as well as the side marker lights on the front. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to swap those out with every step of the way. But before we get to that, I do also want to talk a little bit about an actual big mod that we're going to do with Grandma. So I've been doing some research to find out one of two mods that I initially want to start with to try and get the roughly 250-ish horsepower that this car has to the ground. And one of them is a rear gear, the second one is a transmission upgrade. Uh, and by upgrade I basically mean a tune or what's classified as the J mod. Uh, on these cars, you can retrofit the valve body to give you some sharper shifters. Some are saying you can actually do that with a tune. I'm going to look at both avenues and see which one is most cost effective. Uh, and also, I want to upgrade that rear end gear to help get a little bit more power to the ground. One thing I'm afraid that I am going to lose, which I guess I'm okay with if I'm looking for some power, is the uh, fuel mileage. And as you guys know from my trip to Pennsylvania, uh, we got really good fuel mileage on these stock gears. I'm not even sure what the setup is. I'm guessing it's like in the 270 range somewhere uh, for rear end gears. Uh, so we'd like to get that up into the threes, maybe like a 320 something or whatever they come with on the uh, P71. So we're gonna be looking for that in hopes to get a little more power. So I hope it wasn't too disappointing. We are looking at doing that probably before the winter rolls around. So over the next couple of months, it's something that we're gonna be looking for. And I'm gonna share that with you guys as it happens. So in the meantime, let's get these new turn signals into old grandma. So guys, the weekend is over. We are back at the house and well, into a new form of a routine. Camping season is winding down. Granted, we still have about five more weeks, but we're gonna spend our weekends down there and back here at home through the week rather than just living at the campground like we did all summer. So as I alluded to in the first part of this video, we've got our last fit turn signal bulbs and cornering lights that we're going to install on Project Grandma. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into that. We're going to start with the rear and then we'll come around front and show you how it's done. Now somebody in the comments several weeks ago had asked me to show a video about how to install a cornering light. For those of you who don't know, on a Grand Marquis, there is a light that comes on right here 
when you turn right or left and those will stay on until the signal light goes out they don't blink they just light up as you go around a corner so that's what we're going to be replacing there as well as the turn signal so let's get to it so on this grand marquee and, and as well as the crown vix there's a little plastic nut right here that you just got to spin off by hand and once you take that off you can pull back this liner and that will give you access to the three what looks like 10 millimeter nuts holding the tail light in once we get those out, the tail light pops out from the outside. So leave it to four, it is not a 10 millimeter, it is 11. And that wasn't very tight at all, so I'm sure that these are just gonna spin right off, no problems. So now that we've got the tail light pulled out, one thing I wanna point out that is news to me. There's two bulbs here and not just one. I ordered one bulb for each corner of the vehicle, which means I don't have enough to do all the way around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus this video on changing out the front turn signals and we will come back and get these ones at a later time. As it sits right now, you now know that you're going to need four bulbs. They are 3157 bulbs. And if you go to last fit, the number is T-3157A. And they're pretty bulky. There's a couple of different styles of these bulbs. Now, these ones are the CAN bus error-free bulbs, so you're not going to get hyper flash when you plug them in. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to plug these in to the left-hand side here, and we'll compare the left hand to the right hand so you guys can see the difference between LED and non-LED turn signal bulbs on a Crown Vic Grand Marquis. And there you have it folks. No hyper flash, super bright. The left one is the last fit bulbs. The right is a regular incandescent bulb. Talk about a difference, especially with these tinted taillights. What a difference it makes. So yes, so far, I'm pretty impressed with these lights. So now we're gonna tackle the front ones. They're a little more difficult. These ones are gonna require a eight millimeter. We've gotta take this cover off here and there's three screws on each side that have gotta come out so that we can pop this headlight out from this side, which gives us access to disconnecting this side marker. So it's time for some time lapse and some music. So now that we've got the headlight pod out, there are two what look like 11 millimeter nuts right on this side post here. Those have got to come out and then from there, the lens should pop out. And the trick is not to drop these. Granted, they're just gonna go and hit the ground, but in the off chance, they don't hit the ground and go amongst the missing, then uh, you're in search for a couple more. Okay, so now we've got our turn signal as well as our cornering light. And I should just be able to take this, give it a little twist, and there's the cornering light bulb. and there's the turn signal. So one thing I notice automatically is that on a Crown Vic, this light is just a reflector. So when I ordered these as a cornering light, they sent basically a 194 replacement bulb for that. Obviously that's not gonna work because this is a 3157 as well, but These bulbs should be a direct replacement for that. So again, looks like we've got to go back and order a few more bulbs. And yes, these bulbs I ordered myself and uh, it helps to know the number of the bulb you're looking for. Otherwise you may end up in a position like I am where 
you need a 3157 but you're getting a 194 so be sure you know the bulb sometimes the websites don't cross the way that they should anyways we're going to get this one swapped out then we'll show you a left and a right so you can see the difference between how bright they are from the leds to an incandescent bulb okay so now it's time to go turn the four ways on and let you have a look there you go guys leds on the right incandescent on the left tell me what do you guys think in the comment section below can you see the difference So now I'm going to get the other side done and we'll show you the finished product. So there is a 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis outfitted probably at this point about 90% in last fit auto LED lights. We've got the turn signals, we've got the headlights, we've got the backup lights, we've got the grandma license plate light, and we've got the brake and tail lights back here. Now granted the ones on the outside edge are still incandescent that's why you see a little bit of a delay there and I guess I would be remiss if I did not show you what this car looked like with the brake lights on we will get some more ordered as well as the proper cornering LEDs and then this car will be 100% LED on the exterior guys you can get your very own last fit auto LED bulbs at last fit like I said earlier in this video and don't forget to use promo code old car auto guy 10 so guys, I hope you enjoyed this installment of Old Car Auto Guy. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Myself and Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan, he is the second link in the description box below. We have a little contest going for the month of September. Grant has challenged me to a 100 subscriber race for the 30 days in September. So whoever gets to 100 first or whoever gets the most in the month of September wins. What do we win? Well, it might be bragging rights, but it might be something else. You'll have to stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget the Car Guy and Six Fan Show will be coming back to you guys live on Thursday evenings very, very soon. In the meantime, we're just plugging away trying to get this thing back up on the road. We both felt that we weren't offering you guys a great product with our show because of this new switch over with Google Hangouts. We're trying to dial it in, perfect it, and have something worthy of you guys tuning in like i said before hit that like button subscribe to old car auto guy and guys stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you guys god bless let's do it again real soon